Okay, so the um, importance of being idle. So the uh, intro goes from A minor to E, just those two chords, and the timing is this. Um, I'll play the timing before I play the actual riff. So the timing is one, two, three, four. Only two plectrum strokes, um, and the way to control that plectrum is as you make the hammer on the first one, as you can see, probably that plectrum slides down onto the next string ready to strike it. So you're not doing, not really taking your hand away, you're allowing the plectrum to just drop down a string there. So um, Again, you could play that um, all with down strokes if you wanted to. It's that hammer that's uh, important there. Main riff for the song goes from A minor to F major 7 to C to B11, which is um, a B7 with the little finger missing. So it's just the second fret there, first fret there, second fret there on the third string, and you're playing. The top five strings, absolutely not the bottom string. And then it goes to E, where you must play the bottom string. So these five, uh, first four chords out of the five, you play the A minor, the F major 7, the C, and the B 11. Never play the bottom string, and on the E, you must play the bottom string. Those are the correct root notes. Um, and the other thing that's worth... Um, pointing out is that on every single chord the top string is free to ring so you hear it on the A minor you hear it on the F major 7 you hear it on the C you hear it on the B11 and of course you hear it on the E it's a continuous note so I'll play that riff go wrong by picking out the root note of each chord before you strum it. So I'm pick that, strum it, pick it again, strum it. See what I mean? Pick it again, strum it, and it's quite a nice technique to do. The chorus um, goes from D minor to A minor three times and there's four beats on each chord and they're stabs really. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can get a quite um, authentic effect if you sort of, you know, stab those chords, release the pressure so that you kill the chord and use, use your finger or your thumb to kill it dead, you know, you can get completely silent like that. Quite hard that one, but you can fake it just by releasing. A minor, same thing, and you can you can use your little finger to kill it if you like. It's nice and crisp like that. The F major seven is um, two bars long. All the others are one bar long. That is held for two bars. One bar of G, one bar of E. So you get one, two.
us. How's that? Good. Would you like a backing track in A as well? Yes. Should, I, should we, uh, if you stop, we'll do it on a separate one.